Hello, global viewers. I would like to share my experience on coronavirus vaccines today. I got my first Moderna injection last August. And then I had side effects. So I skipped my second dose of Moderna. And I waited for a Novavax vaccine to arrive in South Korea. South Korean government uh, gave emergency use authorization on Novavax vaccine January this year. So I received Novavax vaccine March this year after six months of having Moderna as my first coronavirus vaccine. Um, my husband got two doses of Novavax. He didn't want to have mRNA vaccines out of fear of side effects. He has pre-medical conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. And my son got three doses of Moderna. He's working in a medical field. So he had to have Moderna. Um, now, from now on, I would like to tell you about the side effects that I have experienced and uh, my Novavax injection experience. Well, after I had my first coronavirus vaccine from Moderna last year, I really had a hard time for two weeks where I was in my low physical energy level, something that I have never experienced before. It was not like the usual fatigue or exhaustion. It was something very strange and weird. I had no physical strength at all. I couldn't really carry out my household activities. I couldn't go out of my house. I mostly spent my time inside my house, um, lying in the bed. And after one week of Moderna injection, I started to bleed. I was not in my regular period. So I visited emergency room. I was feeling pretty weak and weird. Uh, physically and also mentally. What they did in emergency room was they checked my heart condition because at that time, the only side effect the South Korean government uh, acknowledged um, from Moderna vaccine was heart inflammation. So they checked my heart and they told me that it, it was okay and they recommended if I wanted further examination that I should be hospitalized. But I knew that these vaccines and this virus were new, even doctors, they don't really have much to know. So I got back home and then spent my time usually lying in the bed. Where fortunately, I started to recover after two weeks. But I was too scared so I skipped my second dose of Moderna. Um, this year, I had my Novavax first injection as my second dose of coronavirus vaccine. You know, Novavax has a different type of vaccine. It's not mRNA vaccine. Novavax is, is one of those traditional type of vaccines like flu vaccine. And I had an experience of having flu vaccine before, and I was pretty comfortable after having flu vaccine. And after I got Novavax, for several hours, I felt a little tiredness. So I lied in the bed for several hours. But after that, um, I was fine. I didn't really feel anything. I had no side effects. It was like as if I didn't really get any vaccination. I was pretty secure and comfortable and I was really happy about this vaccine. Now, my husband got two doses of Novavax and he didn't really experience any kind of side effect either. And he felt very secure and comfortable with Novavax vaccine. From my son, he got three uh, doses of Moderna but after the second dose, my son developed tholitis. You don't really know uh, if it is caused by 
this vaccine directly, but you know, these mRNA vaccines really have a variety of side effects. So I am largely discontented with these mRNA vaccines, and I have this credit for mRNA vaccines yet because, um, you know, the investigation into the side effects are not largely done yet. So mRNA vaccines are still in its experimental phase. You know, I admit that mRNA is a very innovative technology and it has really impressive efficacy rate. But in terms of long-term safety, we have long way to go. So I believe that we should have other options for coronavirus vaccines like Novavax, which are created um, using protein recombinant uh, type of um, method like flu vaccine. And long time safety is sort of guaranteed for these kinds of vaccines. So I would like to recommend uh, to people out there who have not received any one dose yet or who are considering to have coronavirus vaccines other than mRNA, then I would like to suggest that you consider Novavax vaccine seriously. And one South Korean company, SK Bioscience, is also developing the same type of vaccine as Novavax. This company is, is a really nice company. Uh, it received fund from uh, Bill Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation, also from CEPI, an organization under WHO. It is now in the clinical phase three. It looks pretty promising. I know that there are many people out there still who haven't received any one dose yet. And I would like to tell you that you need to protect yourself from this virus because coronavirus is still around us. It may be around us for the future to come. Now the variants, their severity are meager than the ones before, but we don't really know anytime, anywhere, um, if uh, coronavirus variant with severity of symptoms can appear. So I strongly believe that you need protection from this virus and you need to get vaccinated. So if you're considering having vaccination or having cross shots other than mRNA, then consider Novavax. It's very safe, comfortable, at least from my experience. And I hope you'll just stay healthy and safe anywhere in the world because we are all connected in this one.